City BTV today we are here to talk with two ladies about the Caribbean festivities that are coming up not only uh, just the big carnival at the end of the month but also all the things leading up to it. we're going to be doing the immigration forum and this is our definitely an annual event where everybody looks forward to it as we are all immigrants uh, even though we're citizens we're still concerned about our fellow uh, family members who have to um, migrate to the country so we always have uh, an attorney, and this is a Caribbean attorney, uh, attorney Andrea Reed. Uh, she's been with us for a couple of years now, and she brings us updates on what's going on with immigration. And people can come out and ask questions. They can send their questions um, if they have some concerns, and it's something to look forward to. We're going to be having it this year at Mason Square Library uh, from 3.30 until 5. So if anyone's interested, they can come on August 11th, it's a Thursday. Um, and uh, bring their questions and concerns, and I'm sure she can direct you in the right way. And then that's followed by? Okay, for the first time this year, we are going to be collaborating with the Springfield City Library and just the Springfield Kind of Association to put on the third annual community festival. Um, I'm very elated about this because, you know, I'm children of teachers, so I'm always about children and having, make, making sure that we're taking care of our little ones, because they are the future. And so um, it is in honor of the branch benefactor, Annie G. Um, Corrin. Um, we will host a fam fun family-friendly event with games, fresh food, and musical performances. So we jerk chicken, hot dogs, snow cone, um, you name it, whatever we can get to put there for the kids to have fun and just eat. And there'll be live performances, people going through in and out doing different things. Um, so it began, at, it will begin, sorry, at 3 p.m. and end at 7.30. And through the event, um, we'll have a book sale. Um, at 3 to 4, the bike safety trivia. Um, 3 to 4 p.m., live music. Um, 3.30 to 4.30, animal visit from the zoo, um, Forest Park Zoo. 5 p.m., food off the grill. Um, 5.30 p.m. you have a live music where the food is going on and maybe we have someone coming in to dance like a dance group mm -hmm. for performing. And 6.30 live music, um, La, La Dawn and Friends. Five, um, 3 to 5.30 face painting. So from the beginning right up until 5.30 mm -hmm. you can have your children's face painted. Mm -hmm. um, 3 to 7.30 voters registration, important very important we should all come out to that and 3 to 7 30 p.m information table so that is going on all through the activity for the day for wow. that afternoon so there's a lot going on a lot so going they're, they're, on. you know uh, from the kids to the adults and, and, and parents and i'm asking the police to bring out your children just don't carry them and leave them we want you to be a part of this because you are the parent and you're supposed to show them the way Absolutely. and you're learning from them actually and they're learning from you and see how to do it. So when they take over, they know how to do it, you know? Exactly. So Next. where is this taking place? It is taking place at 765 State Street. That is Mason Square Library, Branch okay. Library. Okay. Yes. So then followed by that, we have another event. Yeah. Well, the culmination of our parade. And that's uh, usually our festive day where we have our floats, our costumes. Um, we have vendors in the park. We have entertainment in, in the park. And we kick off at um, Rebecca M. Johnson School at 12 o'clock, and we march up State Street into Blunt Park. Uh, we are inviting people to be a part of the parade. If you have a group or you'd like to represent something in the community, contact us at 413-693-3343 and be a part of either the parade or be a part of the vendors. 
um, get a booth and um, you know get your permits and all that and please make sure you bring your generators um, if you need to use um, electricity so um, that's what we're looking forward to August 20th um, that's the parade day and um, it's gonna be an exciting day we know and rain or shine will be there Okay, awesome so to sum everything up we have an entire month full of uh, information, celebration, festivities for people of all ages, uh, obviously focusing on Caribbean culture. Mm -hmm. why, why is this important? Uh, you know, what, what do you see people who are not necessarily Caribbean, how, how do they benefit from, from all of these, uh, fr from participating in all of this? For one, if you are not Caribbean, you want, if you have all these people living among you, wouldn't you want to know about them? What do they like, what they don't like, what they eat? Why do they dress the way they dress? <laughs> so this is what we do. We bring the Caribbean to the people. They learn about us, and in the same breath, we are learning about them. Right. So we're sharing our culture. So that is why it's like, if you listen to the, the name of the group, is the Caribbean American African Athletic Social Club. That's a big, broad name under which the Springfield Carnival comes. And American people, they need to know us. And it's not only Americans that are here. Right. right. It's right. All, all nation. Right. 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 Because this could be said out of many one people, they could actually borrow our own, right? Yeah, <laughs> right. Because yeah. it's a, like a melting pot, everybody's here. So that is, it's important for us to let them know who we are, what do we stand for. Right. And then our children, many of them are not born in Jamaica or Barbados or Guyana, but they need to know who they are. If you don't know where you are from, then we do not know where we are going. We need to have a history. And our young children need to have a history. They need to know what their parents um, learned when they were kids. What did they eat? Where, how, did they, how did they dress? What did they look like? What music did they dance to? And the only way they can learn that is if all the Caribbean people come out, support us, and showcase their talents. So we want to see every talent out there. I know many young men and young ladies have such good talent you could expose or show to the world. Let us do it on that day, right. please. Absolutely. Yeah. And you know, on um, the proclamation day on Friday, we encourage people to bring their flags and represent who they think they are and showcase that we're such a diverse community. Um, and this is an opportunity for you to stand up and, and be counted. So we encourage people to come out with their flags from that day right through the whole month, if possible to any event and represent who you are. And um, as you ask us about why should people care, it's a legacy we're leaving. You know, um, so many of us have left our homeland and made this our new home. Mm -hmm. And our kids are now another nationality. So therefore, it's important for us to pass it on and let them know where they came from. And um, this is a great way of sharing that with the whole world, mm -hmm. you know, through music, food, and culture, so um, it's a, a great time for us to come out and just get involved. Wow, and that's the thing, involvement. You know, it's yeah. really important for events like this to happen on a regular basis. It, it basis, it keeps people engaged um, with the community, and right. that that is something that is lacking. You know, not only yep. not only in our city, but right. across the world. world. You know, people just getting involved and not having, uh, I guess, a desire to learn of something that's not directly related to, to them, them or having yes. the desire to go out and support anything that uh, they haven't themselves created. But I know the city of Springfield certainly appreciates what you guys do. And again, if we can just give people information about where they can learn more about this and where they can find the calendar, because again, there's a lot um, that is coming up soon. And, right. and we certainly want them to know exactly where to go. So mm -hmm. if we can just give them that information one more time. Okay, so they could call 413-693-3343, or they could visit the Facebook page, Springfield Carnival Association, and they will be informed. Okay, all right. Well, thank you so much. Uh, this was an awesome, awesome time learning about uh, Caribbean culture and also getting prepared for what's to come. Uh, City Beat TV, that was another episode. You guys stay tuned. A lot of things are coming up in the next couple of weeks. Stay informed, stay tuned, stay engaged. We're out. I want to give a shout out to the camera.